Okay, hey guys, such a way, and welcome back to the channel. So, uh, as you already read from the title, today I will be showing you how to perform shortcuts. Uh, pretty clearly on the undo and redo on your iPhone, iPad. Uh, not everyone knows this, how to actually, you know, there's an undo and redo feature built into the operating system. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. I have honestly been trying to make this video for so long over three months just never knew how to start it off where to like actually start what setup i should use and all that so i was just shooting my winners uh, video so i thought i would just do it right now so i will actually be showing this how to do this on the notes app so this is the original notes app of iphone but this works throughout the operating system you can be in any app safari mail photos anything this feature works you can even be in pages even third party apps on operating system has to have this feature because this is built into the operating system so it's not like something that will just not work so what i'm going to be doing is let's just say you have some uh, text written you have a really long paragraph there to do it and you were just selecting it to make it maybe make it bold or something and accidentally you press the delete button or the backspace and deletes everything now you don't know how to get it back you don't know what you wrote so you can write it back so that's what we're going to be doing first we how do you undo an action that you just did so as you can see i'm just writing my name on the screen so on the notes app i just have my name and now what if i want to undo this now obviously this is just a small thing you can erase but in the same context like if something happens how do you go back in time back in the action you just did so all you have to do is take your phone and give it a flick now, once you do give it a flick, you will see on the, uh, on the screen saying undo typing and it will give two options, cancel or undo. Uh, depending on which phone you have, you will also get a haptic feedback when this feature activates. So when you do shake or flick it, you will get a haptic feedback and you can press undo and it will just undo the action and as you can see, suction just went away. So what if now I want to bring something back or whatever action I did, I just do want to do that action and undo was a mistake. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write suction and let's just say suction Sharma, my full name and I'm going to backspace this out. But now what if I wanted this? All I have to do is give it a flick and it will give me a new option, right? Because that just brought me back. But now all I have to do is again is give it another flick and it's going to give me two options. Undo or redo typing. And I can just press redo typing and it's going to do what I just did, which one is the text. Uh, you won't get the redo option unless you do a undo option. So as you can see, I will have to perform undo option first. And then only I have the redo option that will go flick again and I can click redo to perform that action back again. So this does not only work with iPhone, it works with iPads, pretty much any iOS device. It's native to the operating system. You don't need to be on a special software or something. Uh, for the iPads, you might say it's really hard to do that flick, right? You can't just do that flick. So on the iPads, is actually another way to do this. So on the iPad, if you go on the keyboard and click on the 1, 2, 3 on the ABC, depending on what you have. And on the right side or left side, depending on which format you have, there will be undo option and then if you press the shift or switch one another layer on the symbols you will get the redo option now that's built into the keyboard and anywhere you can type anywhere you can access the keyboard you are able to press that undo or redo button now let's just say you are in pages the apple pages or microsoft word they give you option of the undo symbol and the redo symbol on the top left or right corner depending on what you have set and also on the keyboard if you're in pages you will see uh, it will be beside this heading section or all this stuff a left arrow or a right arrow like it's a, like a backspace arrow like all those old phones where you say you have the left click button that's how it looks and you click that to undo and then redo according and if none of that is working you always have the option to just give your ipad a flick or a jerk and it will give you a pop-up saying undo redo depending on what you have already done so this is just a short video on how do you undo or redo i hope this helped if it did make sure to press the like button if you have any questions concern feel free to leave a comment below hit the subscribe button and the bell icon that you get notified when i come out with the new content other than that thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video